Alright guys, so I have a bit of a weird video for you today. This one is going to be how to add USB 3 to an old computer. Uh, this is my mother's computer, as you probably would have seen me build for Christmas. Um, you saw the cable management wasn't great, blah blah blah, I fixed most of that. But um, yeah, as you can see on the front of this case, it has only USB 3. And the motherboard, considering it's socket 775, there's no USB 3 anywhere to be found. So what I have today is just a little PCIe card, as you can see there. Take, you put in your USB 3 header, it takes a satellite for power, and it gives you two USB 3 on the back. Now this is easy, it goes in one of your little PCIe slots, and you basically just hook, hook it up with power in the USB 3, and it, it gives you USB 3, it gives you the option of it. Now, uh, I was going to get one with Molex that powers it through Molex, but it doesn't really matter. And uh, we got that one because it was cheap. It was like the cheaper option, and we just had the fiber line in the bank, like you know. So we went, uh, we went, did that, and now we're going to install it. So what I have to do now is take out this uh, PCIe bracket or PCIe blank, whatever you want to call them. There's tons of names for them realistically. But you can definitely see that before I built this system for, for my mother, um, this was definitely our test case because most of the thin screws that are meant to be here are gone. But now we just take this, it slides in into the PCIe place in the motherboard. Just push it down. There we go. That's the hardware version of it done. We just need to wire it up. So if you have a look around the back, you can see that it's added two USB 3 uh, sockets to the rear of the case. So we have my USB 3 header here. Now the USB 3 header goes on the outside and I still need to plug in the SATA, so I'm going to leave this for a few minutes. But speaking of the SATA, as you can see, I have one SATA cable here plugged into this, and the second connection is here. In there, you can't really see it because it's dark. And the other SATA cable is plugged into this hard drive, the 320 gig hard drive. Now, there are no more SATA leads on this power supply considering it's only a 430 watt. But there is an entire row of Molex. And so if I take off this rear panel, and I spin the case around, bringing that driver disc with me. Accident, but we weren't going to use it anyway. We do have an entire row of Molex that's just hooked up to one little fan header that I can easily plug out. This leaves all of this, including the floppy, which we'll never use, to uh, play with. Now, knowing that this was going to be the case, we bought this. This is just a Molex to SATA connector. It makes your life easier if you don't have any spare SATA. And it gives you a little extra length on the, on the lead. And um, I can probably just rip into the bag because I don't see any easy way of opening it. There we go. Here it is, Molex to SATA. So I'm just going to plug this into the Molex connector on the power supply. So I'm going to stuff that through there. Once again, turn the case around. It may be a crappy computer, but it's feckin' heavy. So now our SATA lead, our SATA power, can come along to where it needs to be. And if I can get my head in the way of the camera, plug in just like this. 
There we go. Put that down there. So now we don't have to deal with the floppy um, connection flopping around, if you excuse the pun. And I can reconnect this Molex connection back here. You can't see it, but it's the exact same. Just plug in the Molex cable. There we go. And that can be stuffed in out of the way under the hard drive. And we are essentially done. Have our USB 3 header and it's going to go here if the camera can get in there so you line the notch up with the notch on here which is on the bottom so it's going to go face down and we just simply plug it in if I can get the lead to stop catching on the graphics card there we go fed back out through there and tidied up out here. Pull and twist the lead. Stuff it wherever it can go basically. And that's essentially how you add USB 3 to a, um, a system. If your motherboard doesn't have USB 3 or just doesn't have a USB 3 header, some motherboards come with USB 3 on the back but no header. And if you uh, maybe swap your old Dell into uh, an, a new case and don't have, a, have the USB 3 that the case comes with you can just get this for seven pounds in total seven to ten pounds or pounds or dollars I should say and it's quick and simple anyone can do it you don't have to be a master at computers at all uh, but yeah that's really it uh, so don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.